Aloha mai kawa, o DJ Mermaid Keia, a i i ke oe, ua kako ia ka hiki ke ho'olele ia keia pukana makapuna i vele, e nga hoa me nga la la o keia ka hua lekio i lulu kala maieia mako. No leila, he leo mahalo keia ia oko e nga la la, a i nga a ole oe he la la, mai kali a pau nga niho, a e hui no me kako, e nga nga paha oko mahava i publicradio.org a mahalo nui. Lina me ke aloha yaka ko pa kahi apau. I'm DJ Mermaid Paige Okamura, your host of Hawaii Kulaivi here on Hawaii Public Radio 1 every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. We are continuing our hua kaihele a puni komoku o keave. We visited Hilo and Keo Kahan last week and we are bidding them a very fond adios ke aloha and moving on into puna Kahome noho akavahine pele ikila wea here on Hawaii Public Radio 1's Hawaii Kulaivi. Full set list online at hawaiipublicradio.org slash Hawaii Kulaivi. We'll be right back after the news. Ai, ai la opele i Hawaii. Ayala o pele ha bai e a se ha o mai la i mau zele e Ayala o pele ha bai e a se ha o mai la i mau zele e Uhi uha bai anda e se no me a e na ya puna e Uhi uha Ai <laughs> I know so lula oh eh I as a palena i maui eh I know so lula oh eh Ye as a ha ula ye ye ite ala nu vi a eli ane eh Ye as a ha ula ye ye ite ala nu vi a eli ane I am a Zapuana air, no he ears a no he no air. I am a Zapuana air, no he ears a no he no air. Hey, no, no he eaka. Aloha nui mai kako. I'm DJ Mermaid here with another episode of Hawaii Kulaivi every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. here on Hawaii Public Radio 1. We opened up today's show with Aiyala uh, Opele, that was Iolani Luahine, because we are moving from our time in Hilo. And we visited Keokaha, Kaina Ho Pula Pula. We are moving now into Puna as we continue on our journey around the island of Hawaii through our mele and our oli and all of those things and all of the good mo'olelo and all that kind of stuff. So, full set list can be found online at hawaiipublicradio.org slash Hawaii Kulaivi. Uh, but we opened it up with Ayala Opele i Hawaii because Pele is here in Hawaii. She's danced at Maukele. She has surged and puffed her way through and devouring Puna, and she's still there. So, from Ayala Opele into Kilauea, uh, Auntie Alice Namakelua i Olevo Kuhiheva is 
performing Kilauea, but it's on an album that's credited to Auntie Nina, La, Auntie Lani, and Auntie Lahela and the Miley Serenaders. It's called Namele Hawaii no Na Keiki. Into Chinky Mahoys, O Kilauea no Holulu, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Pu'onioni, Kua Loloa Kia Ao, as we make our way through Puna and Sightsee. So don't go anywhere. So much good music this evening. So much, well, so little time, actually. So this is Auntie Alice Namakilua with Kilauea. Ai, Kilauea. Akalu.
Chinky Mahoya off of his album Kalapa Vaiku Aina Kaulana with Okilawea no Holulu uh, Makaho Pena Makainoa Hoi o Pele Melohi El. And I think something that's interesting is even though I, I threw that in there for Pele herself, of course, um, but I had a moment, a really quick panicky moment where I thought, oh no, I put this in here and it's about Kawaii because. Kilauea, Huminoho Akavahine, right? In Puna, the name of the of the volcano, of the crater, I should say. I feel like all the geologists out there are shaking their heads at my lack of of distinct knowledge, but I can tell you for sure. Kilauea is the residence of Pele, and that's that's a for sure thing. But there's also a Kilauea on Kauai, and it speaks of Haena which usually we think of Kauai too, plus Haena i Kauanui and Kauai Kauanui. But also there is a Haena in Kiao, which we are going to talk about. So there's so many dualities going on that I maybe panicked myself just a little bit. Um, but we are going to move on and we're going to we're going to keep Akuya Haena ma Makamoku Puni o Hawaii as well. So Moving on into my favorite rendition of Pu'onioni, it's Joseph Kahaulelio. Uh, in a couple versions of Hi'iaka, this mele happens in two different spots in the timeline. The versions that I'm most familiar with, Hi'iaka does Pu'onioni as she's leaving Kilauea, as she's setting off on her journey, her huaka'i ki'ikane to fetch Lohi'au. And on her way out, she does Pu'onioni as sort of her farewell to her sister Pele. And Pele pretends to sleep the whole time. I mean, she pretends that she is still sleeping and um, kind of stirs at the end and looks at Hiyaka and tells her, because Hiyaka leaves Kilauea and climbs up, right? So she leaves the papaku that they're at and climbs all the way up and does Pu'onioni. And Pele looks at her and says, Oh, you mean only now you're going to tell me goodbye? Hurry up, you're late already. Which I think is such a great, sassy, older sister kind of response. But in other versions of the Mo'olalo, she does pu'u'onioni when she gets back to Kilauea from fetching Lohio. So there's kind of two spots in the timeline that pu'u'onioni appears I'm most familiar with the first. It's also my favorite because I just think the fact that her sister is telling her bias, she sets off on this long journey that she knows she possibly can't make within the timeline because the timeline or the deadline only exists within Pele's mind. It's until she gets too angry to wait. Um, and Pele looks up, first of all, pretends to sleep, looks up and then tells her, I don't know why you're wasting your time. You should have told me bye five minutes ago and now you're five minutes behind. So hurry up. So this is Pu'onioni Joseph Kahaulelio into Kawahi'iaka, the Brothers Casimero here on Hawaii Kulaivi on member-supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. Akaluna o Pu'onioni Pa Akaluna Akaluna o Pu'onioni Te anaina akawahine Akaluna, Akaluna o Pu'onioni, Te anaina akavahine. Ki e, ki e kaia ulu o vahine kapu, Loho ana o papalaua. 
ki e ki e kaya ulu owa hine kapu to hoa na upapa lawa hi lawa hi lawa hi pele i kai o puna o ne a kai o malama lawa hi lawa hi pele i kai o puna O ne a kai o malama Malama, malama i ke kanaka Ahe pua la ha ole Malama, malama i ke kanaka Ahe pua la ha ole Ha ina, ha ina mai kai noa Kua kapu o hi iaka Ha ina, ha ina mai kai noa Tua kapu o hi iaka He inoa no hi iaka i ka poli o pele That was Pu'oni Oni Joseph Kahaule Leo It is time for me to let you know that support for Hawaii Kulaivi comes from Costco Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Celebrating 60 years in Hawaii featuring Daikin Air Conditioners Learn more about contractors who install Daikin products at CostcoHawaii.com and from Hanahau Oli School, accepting junior kindergarten and grades 1 through 6 online applications for the 2022-23 school year through December 1st. HanahauOli.org slash ekomomai. Coming up next, the Brothers Kazimero with Kawa Hi'iaka off of their album Hawaiian Paradise into the Hiram Olsen Group which recorded an album called Authentic Polynesia, but they also recorded Kualoloa Kiao here on Member Supported HPR One. I'm DJ Mermaid. Oh, 
ฮุลาเลอะฮุลาเลอะวะเลอีเทยโอนันนะฮุกีฮุลาเลอะวะเลอีเทยโอนันนะฮุกีเฮโนโนฮิอะไคโพลิโอเปเล Kekuhi kanaka ole we keha ala puna off of the album Small Island Big Song. Uh, it's a kind of interesting album. I haven't. I just found it today, um, so I was gonna dig into it a little bit later. But before that, you heard Kua Loloa Kea Ao Wikana Hele Hele, recorded on the Hiram Olsen Group with Nina Kili Iva Hamana's Authentic Polynesian Volume One album. And we started off with Kawahi Iaka, the brothers Kezimero. We are. Visiting Puna, Home Noho Kavahine, Kupanaha. Um, and as we go through the Mo'olelo and how we see Hiyaka's movements also, um, and we see the things that she sees and does through all of these melee. So, Kawa Hiyaka, uh, she's gone going throughout her journey, and um, part of their agreement. Or at some point, Pele basically tells her, if you don't bring Lohi out to me in a timely manner, in timely being, in as quickly as Pele wants her to do it, then she's going to burn Puna and the Lehua groves, um, which are basically Hopoi, her, her ikane in a sense. Um, her friend. It's hard to translate what Hopoi means to Hiyaka in English. Um, and she ends up doing so anyway. And at some point, Hiyaka comes to this understanding that it is going to happen. But in Kawa Hiyaka, in that part of the Mo'olala in the story, she tells Pele, I'm coming and I'm, I am have gone through all of these trials and tribulations. Hello, kapu'u he manoka ihona, ups and downs to do this for you. And I'm on my way. Kua Loloa uh, happens a little bit earlier in the Mo'olelo, in which she Hiyaka battles Mo, the Mo'o Panaeva and the total destruction that's seen. Just trees raised down to stumps, basically. And Keha Alapuna um, talks about Hopoi, who's also known as Nanahuki. And how she dances in the breeze, Keha Alapuna Ikamakani, and how the hollow groves of Keao are also seen joining in. And it, if you really think about it, you can picture not just this story and not just a woman dancing, but you see the dance in nature every day when the wind blows through the hollow groves of Keao. And so that's pretty much what we're doing on today's episode of. Hawaii Kulaivi here on member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. We are going to feature Hopoi this time, Kavahine Lava Ikekai, because after Pele basically destroys her Lehua forest, she kills Hopoi, but Hopoi turns into a stone in the sea at Kiaao at Haena. And this song is about her as she's known, Kavahine Lava Ikekai. This is Ho'okena. Here on HPR One's Hawaii Kulaini. Kalunga i mai amoa, ma 
featuring Ivalani Ho'omanawa Nui Apo with No Luna, also known as No Luna i Kahale Kama Aleva. That's going to be our last Pelin Hi'iaka song for today because there's never enough time really in this show uh, to go through every single melee, but we can do a deep dive anyway in the time that we do have. You're tuned into member-supported Hawaii Public Radio 1's Hawaii Kulaivi. I'm DJ Mermaid, and I'd just like to remind you that support for Hawaii Kulaivi comes from Namea Hawaii with locally sourced gifts, clothing, jewelry, and featuring books about Hawaii. Open daily at 10 a.m. in Ward Village, online at namehawaii.org. 
www.thepurposefulgrowthmindset.com. So coming up next, since we are uh, moving on from the Mo'olelo of Pele and Hi'iaka. Oh, I don't know if you heard my tongue slip on Mo'olelo just now. We are going to continue our journey in Puna. We're going to start off with Mokuhulu. This is Raitail Helm's version. Mokuhulu uh, has been attributed to Uncle Harry Naope and Harry Kiliho Malu. Not totally sure uh, who composed this melee. Um, but it talks about Puna and from its seven mile stretch of coastline, um, Puna was quite famous for and if you go through this mele verse by verse and mahalo nui to uncle kihei de silva because i used his essay as as research for this mele but so it talks about four vahipana four very storied places about puna and so mokuhulu was once home to a very famous ulu grove that bore fruit for eight months of the year, eight out of 12, um, and was also home to a lehua grove. Um, and then in verse two, we're going to Kaimu and the Lipoa there. The third verse, if you pay attention, um, talks about hospitality to visiting Ali'i and Kalapana and a coconut tree pulled low for Queen Emma um, so you get on a horse and Emma she would hold a coconut tr- tree leaf and when you do that when you hold that coconut tree down it usually has to be a young one it will grow in that shape and it grew that way so that it would grow into a reclining um, position as Pukui tells us and that's mentioned in the third verse uh, Kalapana Kaniu Moe o Queen Emma so this is Mokuhulu Raetea Helm into Kahina no Opuna Kaina ni Kahaunaele because Kahina no Opuna is all of our lia, I really think. Here on member supported Hawaii Public Radio One's Hawaii Kulaivi full set list online at Hawaii Public Radio dot org.
That was Punapaya Allah, which, you know, sometimes I just make the mistake of assuming we all know. But Punapaya Allah, Kaulana o Puna i ke ala o kahala, right? Those hala groves of Puna. When I always kind of recall hearing Puna Paya a ala, at first people would tell you, oh, because the scent of hala would hit you like a wall, because Paya is another word for wall. Um, later on, I would also hear a different explanation to that, that residents of Puna, there's so much hala around and it's so fragrant that they would stick the hala into the walls, the paya of the hale, so that you're literally perfuming the walls of your hale. So there's a couple explanations to that, but Puna Paya Ala, written by Queen Lili Okalani in 1868, is a love song. And I wanted to get these last two in. Oh, actually, we don't have time anymore. We've got time for one more song. And I think we're going to take us to Hole. Uh, Hole, this is Cody Puel Pata's version, but I want to make sure that you know that Hole has been adapted from a mele that Hi'iaka does for Waialua here on O'ahu. My Ainaha now, because Kaulana Waialua Kaileo Nui. And then at some point, Kalapana has adapted this song. I have yet to find out how. If you know, I would love to know that story as well. So this is Cody Puel Pata off of his album Eho Inavai with Hole. KHPR Honolulu, KKUA Wailuku, KANO Hilo, KHPH Kailua Kona, KIPL Lihue, and KJHF Koala Pu'u. Collectively, the stations of member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. 
I'm DJ Mermaid. Mahalo for joining me on this episode of Hawaii Kulaivi.